So the day is finally upon us and the new software are out, including the macOS 26. This is macOS Tahoe. So this is the new version of macOS for this year and this shutdowns. And yeah, so this is something we have got in ears and it's not just about, you know, the liquid glass all over the Apple interface, but there are certain things that macOS Tahoe makes the macOS, the Mac itself, really, really good look-wise. And I'm not even talking about liquid glass yet. So when you first wake up your Mac, you are welcome with this liquid glass interface everywhere. So this is the time. By the way, this time could also be now changed with the fonts like we got on iOS 17, I think. We can change the font on this lock screen now on the Mac with Mac OS Tahoe. So that's pretty much it. Now when you go inside, there are certain things that have changed or improved, I would say. So take a look at this menu bar. It's transparent. And actually this does work well because it gives you more screen. But there's something that Apple, I don't think it, they showed you in the event itself yesterday. So I'm going to show you what this is and how this can actually get even better. You go to the settings, by the way, which is a new app screen. First of all, we have this new app screen, which does not take your entire display like it used to since decades, but it's like, you know, spotlight search extended for just applications, which is also customizable. You can have a list view or icons view, just like the Apple Watch or categorize them by a name, alphabetical or categories type wise. So yes, anyways, you double click to open any application from here. Then you have to go to this display. And this is what the default one used to look like. This was the size of the widget and the menu bar itself. But you know, the menu bar is transparent. Apple says the transparency makes it look a bit bigger. I mean the display, that is true. But I think here is a new option. If you click more space, the entire widget, the menu bar itself, status bar will shrink just a little bit which with this new transparent gives a new look and a much cleaner it definitely feels like that your screen has gotten bigger even though it hasn't but it gives a really really clean look to the mac so this is something that i really really like using in the mac OS tahoe but well you know the star of the show is the liquid glass which is now available throughout the Apple ecosystem. So we will get into that in a bit. But before that, how oh boy, I mentioned this thing is 15 gigs to download. The first developer beta of the macOS beta one Tahoe, it was 15 gigs. So you better need to have some storage to download this. By the way, if you are doing this on your main device, I would suggest no, because it's still very buggy. It can crash at times. It works slow, it lags, it stutters a lot. So. Anyways, if you're going to try this new macOS, just because of the look, you definitely need to have a backup first and then get it. But I would still suggest no, maybe wait for some other betas to roll out like beta 3 or 4, where it could get stabilized just a bit. Or maybe wait for the public version or directly wait for the final release like in the fall. So that's it. So in this video, we are mostly going to focus on major changes so one was this the transparent menu bar so you probably know the liquid glass it's around the entire interface no matter where you look but there are certain features that has come to the mac so let me just quickly go through that so for example if you go to the control center so this is like an iphone or ipad control center you get now on the mac which is also editable with extra controls that you can add on the control center so this finally comes to the mac itself of course with the entire liquid glass design and also you do get live activities finally on the mac we got that of the ipad in ipad was 17 introduced in ios 16 but in the mac os tahoe ls 26 we got live activities on the mac itself so how do you access them it will appear over here in the status bar in the menu bar so if you click them you will get to see that and once you click, if it's from your iPhone, you click that live activity from here over here and it will directly open your um, iPhone mirroring and directly open that application on your iPhone on the Mac itself using the continuity feature we got in the Mac OS Sequoia. Well, there are also some other improvements which actually are quite helpful. So if you remember in iOS 13 back six years ago, we got that 
small bar for sound and some other stuff which used to cover the entire screen like the mute switch ringer we still had that on the mac like in the sequoia itself but now it's gone you do get small sliders so even if you adjust your display brightness or if you go back and forth for the speaker's sound output this is the kind of animation it plays now so it does not cover your screen in the middle like it used to so i think this is definitely a good way to look at the mac now and it does not take your screen but well anyways those are some of the ui improvements that we finally get to see on the mac but finally let's talk about the liquid glass and how it's on the mac so if you go to the appearance in settings you do get dark mode which was already there but with the liquid glass technology you do get clear although it's quite buggy so you also get it from the iphone and ipad on the mac so these are the clear icons they appear everywhere not just here in the dock in the application screen even in the settings and of course tinting for the very first time on the mac itself and as always it's still very buggy you have to click it a couple of times to activate it but as you can see you do get tinted icons with mac os tahoe and here are your options to choose different colors so if you go to the control center over here so as you can see these are the new sliders for display and sound but if you actually click hold and slide it so you can see that actually turns into a glass so this is not just a glass like ui but it's liquid glass because it gives you a uh, very bouncy like live you could say the best word is live kind of properties of what a glass possesses so it's translucent it will adapt to the color behind it like you can see over here although it's quite hard, hard to see so anyways so it's like having all the optical properties of a glass how translucent it can be how it can adapt it's bouncy it feels alive so it's there in the entire system so as you can see so i have enlarged the music from the control center and the lights how they reflect at the back of the glass this is how it's gonna look like so this is alive it's there in the entire interface it's very playable this is something i believe only apple can do because the amount of work they put into the small details of getting an actual property of glass in a software well that is something so if you go in a music application or any other file where you can actually scroll up and down so you can see over here there is a black gradient and translucent glass kind of interface a ui that shows how the system or you could say the content is fading away when you scroll up so this is something it's not accessible so i double clicked the screen got bigger but i actually could not go in the album if i click in this gradient kind of area and just like that you can see here's a floating bar it's not just a bar anymore but it's a rounded floating bar copying the properties of a glass so you can see how it looks translucent for whatever content is behind that glass and it adapts to that color and give the same property what a glass will give to you in real life so this is actually really really hot of apple to be able to do something like that so if you even see the dock itself it possesses that same liquid glass properties like a lens so over here you can see how it actually changes because of the background it gives like a concave and convex lens effect so it's really thought of like everywhere on the ui how it can improve how it can look different with different interface even in the dock maybe they could have kept it you know like uh, the one it was before but no we have this even here and almost giving you a really really clean look i just really like how this changes so even if i just go and open up the spotlight search you can see how this actually you know have that same properties of the class so it's class everywhere well anyways speaking of which spotlight search has got one of the best update the biggest update in the mac 
history so let me show you what you would actually do here all right so let's say if i want to create a new note maybe inside an existing folder or something so if i go open the spot i'd search i click on the shortcut or action so here you can find some of the things by default which is available to you you can add them or customize them later but anyways if i want to create a new note here's a small section where you can add your straightforward command so tapping this command will let you do what you want to do so let's say if i write c note and click enter that's saved so now if i write c note in the spot or search click enter it knows that i'm going to create a note so here you can type your content so let's say i write 2jz click on your folder it will give you here a way where you want to add them once you have selected click enter right there in that application it will create that node folder and again just take your notes right away so this is something that you can do with the shortcut and the spotlight search other than now you actually also have a clipboard where you can actually copy all the stuff find it over here easy to access from any application right and if i actually just go back and like i already showed you is for the application but you can actually now find any kind of files directly just typing the name so it's like a sort filter you just sort it out filter it using what you write that's how it works so there is one more new ui improvement so let's say i have to create a new folder so it's you can see it's appear in orange but that's because of the tinting but i can actually change the color of the folder add an emoji for categorizing it for certain things just go ahead double click and then choose any color from here let's say i want to make it red and simply just or maybe just go to customize folder here you can add colors you can add some of the symbols you can also add emojis so this is something we get on the mac now but one more thing there's a small cute animation so let me create another folder and if i put any folder or file inside a folder you will see there's a new open and this animation plays when you put anything inside a folder so my cost tahoe does bring some of the very useful features all it takes is time to get used to it but it's very helpful when you know how to do it and of course the clean look so maybe because of these two reasons keeping liquid glass ui aside these two reasons are actually quite enough for me to you know just get the mac and it looks really good for all this task that you do every day and other than that there are some new features with the apple intelligence like the live transcription a message message i message with backgrounds not just a black background after you know decades but those kind of features are kind of into the iphone but we actually wanted to focus on the mac os related stuff on this video we can just take a look at those in the ios 26 beta video so until then hope you guys enjoyed this one that's pretty much it about the mac os tahoe thanks for watching peace out